These crinkle cookies are beautiful, delicious, and easy to make. There are only a few ingredients, so let's get started. Just a reminder that you'll be able to find this recipe, the list of ingredients, and much more in the show more section below. I've also included links to where you can purchase online some of the ingredients and equipment that I use in this video recipe. If you have a chance, please check it out. In a bowl, I'm adding in one full box of vanilla white cake mix. I'm using Duncan Hines because it was on sale, but you can use the brand of your choice. Just giving the mixture a whisk to make sure all the big lumps are broken down. To the cake mix, I'm adding in one beaten egg, a little pure vanilla extract, and one 8 ounce container of Cool Whip. And that is it, giving that a good stir. Just to note that the cookie dough will be very thick and sticky. You will need some muscles to give this a thorough mixing. Now I'm dividing the dough in half. To one half I'm adding in some red food coloring. I'm using liquid but you can use the gel. Adding in a little at a time to get the desired color. To the other half I'm adding the green food coloring, giving everything a good mix. I started by using my cookie scoop to portion out the cookie dough balls. You want them to be about an inch diameter. Because the dough is so thick and sticky, I soon went to using a teaspoon and scraping off the dough with my finger into the confectioner's sugar. Once in the sugar, you'll be able to form the ball and thoroughly coat the outside with the sugar. Place the cookie balls on a parchment lined cookie sheet or a non stick silicone baking mat. Make sure you have about an inch or two between each cookie. Baking at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes. The edges will start to firm, but the centers will be soft and that is okay. The tops will form crinkles and make a nice design revealing the bright red and green cookie underneath. Once done, remove from the oven and let the cookies cool on the baking sheet for about 5 minutes and then transfer them to a wire rack to finish cooling. The Christmas crinkle cookies turned out beautiful and are delicious. Very festive for the holiday season and are a definite crowd pleaser. The crinkle cookies are soft and chewy with a sweet vanilla flavor. They do freeze well so you can make ahead of time. They make a wonderful tea cookie and go perfectly with a glass of milk. I hope you give these Christmas crinkle cookies a try and enjoy. I want to take a moment and wish all of my followers a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday Season. All of you have touched my life and I greatly appreciate every one of you. I'm using a food blender to mix everything together, but you can use a food processor or even do it the old fashioned way and mix by hand. You will be amazed at how easy this impossible coconut pie is to make. I have four large room temp eggs adding in some sugar, flour, salt, baking powder, room temp milk, melted butter, and some pure vanilla extract. And you can use coconut or a combo of vanilla and coconut extract for some added flavor, giving everything a good mix for about 30 seconds or until all combined. Now I'm adding in my flaked coconut and you can use sweetened or unsweetened. I'm just pulsing this for a couple times to mix in the coconut. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I coated my deep dish pie plate with some coconut oil, and you can use some butter or spray oil. Pouring my batter into the dish and baking for 55 to 60 minutes or until the center is set and the top is a nice golden brown. During the baking process, the flour drops to the bottom and forms somewhat of a crust. The middle is a creamy custard and the coconut rises to the top and forms a nice golden crust. The bottom crust is not your typical dough pie crust, but rather forms a firm layer to hold the pie together. Let the pie cool for about a half an hour before eating. You can serve this warm, at room temp, or cold. I'm serving with some fruit and sprinkled with some toasted coconut. Some other suggestions would be some whipped cream, ice cream, or drizzle with a little chocolate or honey. With the drizzle of chocolate, it really tastes like a Mounds bar. The sweet and crispy coconut is so good, and the creamy custard just melts in your mouth. A wonderful and delicious pie that is so easy to make and everyone will love.
I hope you give this impossible coconut pie a try and enjoy. In a bowl, I have a block of room temp cream cheese. I'm whipping with my hand mixer until fluffy and adding a little milk at a time until creamy. Just adding about a tablespoon of milk at a time to loosen the cream cheese. Next goes in some confectioner sugar and giving another mix. Remember to pause and scrape down the sides of the bowl to get everything incorporated. Now the star of the show, the peanut butter. I'm using creamy peanut butter, but you can use chunky for more texture, giving everything another good mix. Some recipes call for pure vanilla extract, but I don't feel this recipe needs the flavor. It is optional, and you can add if you wish. The recipe calls for 8 to 9 ounces of whipped topping, and I'm folding and incorporating the whipped topping in a couple of batches. You can make your own with some heavy cream. Just take your time and gently fold in the whipped cream. You want to retain the fluffiness of the mixture. Spoon the mixture into a 9-inch graham cracker crust pie shell. You can use a chocolate crumb crust pie shell if you wish. Just leveling out the top. Cover and refrigerate the pie for a couple hours or until firm. You can also freeze the pie if needed. The peanut butter pie is done at this point, but you can decorate the top for a better presentation. I sprinkle the top with some finely chopped peanuts. You could also use some small chocolate chips or chocolate shavings, chocolate or caramel sauce, candy bar pieces, or whatever you like. I have some whipped topping left over, so I'm going to decorate the rim of the pie. I'm not a cake decorator, but I did find this cute little cake decorating kit at my local dollar store. Today, I'm putting it to use. And that is it. The pie is done. And leave me tell you that this peanut butter pie is absolutely one of my top three favorite pies of all times. It is so creamy and rich with flavor. It is always a winner at the holiday table and one of the first pies to disappear. And what is really nice is that it is one of the easiest to make. I hope you give this no-bake peanut butter pie a try and enjoy.